In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. So we say together a prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we draw into awareness of God's presence with us, we invite the Spirit to convict us of sin and to convince us of the gift of forgiveness that is already made to us. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple in substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. going to hear now our first reading, and Valentin will read to us. See, I am sending my messenger to prepare your way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will summon you come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant in, who, in whom you delight, indeed, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like pure soap. He will sit as a refiner, and purify our silver, and he will purify the descendants of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver, until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. Then the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord, as in the days of old and as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be swift to bear witness against sorcerers, against the doctors, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hired worker with their wages, the widow, the orphan, against those who cast aside the alien, and do not fear me, says Lord of hosts. Ah, uh, time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now, my, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage. Then, as a widow to the age of 84, she never left the temple but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God, to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Israel. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they turned to Galilee, to their own town, to Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour of God was upon him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So we profess our faith together in the words of the Creed. We 
believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of, his, of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father through Christ, our light and life. Father, your Christ is acclaimed as the glory of Israel. Look in mercy on your church, sharing his light. Help us to be your people in the world. Help us to be so filled with the love of Christ that that love overflows, binding the church together and leading the church into action. Help us to love our neighbours as ourselves. Father, your Christ in the temple brings judgment on the world. Look in mercy on the nations who long for justice and for peace. Almighty God, as Christ in the temple gave great hope to Simeon, we pray for the hope of salvation in our world, hope of eternal salvation, but Lord, we pray too for the end to this current pandemic. We pray for all those who are working to care for those who suffer, for all those in our hospitals, in our hospices, in our care homes, all the nurses and social workers, all the teachers, all those with essential jobs. Lord, give us strength to carry on, and we pray for a swift end to present challenges of the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your Christ, who was rich for our sake, became poor. Look in mercy on all who are in need and those who suffer. And Lord, we are aware of the great inequalities and division in this world. We pray for those suffering the multiple challenges of poverty, especially at this time, for those countries least equipped to respond and cope, for those struggling to access medical provisions, including the vaccine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ is the one in whom faithful servants find their peace. Look in mercy on the whole church, which glories in your salvation. We pray for peace for all those who suffer at this time, calling to mind those who we know. Suffering in mind, body or spirit. 
for those who mourn. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you kept faith with Simeon and Anna and showed them the infant king. Give us grace to trust your promises and patience to wait for their fulfilment. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high has broken upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ who is one with you from all eternity. For on this day he appeared in the temple in substance of our flesh to come near to us in judgment. He searches the hearts of all your people and brings to light the image of your splendour. Your servant Simeon acclaimed him as the light to lighten the nations, while Anna spoke of him to all who looked for your redemption. Destined for the falling and rising of many, he was lifted high upon the cross, and a sword of sorrow pierced his mother's heart, when by his sacrifice he made our peace with you. And now we rejoice and glorify your name, that we too have seen your salvation, and join with angels and archangels in their unending hymn of praise. Praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and the blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends. Taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you. 
gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with St. Matthew and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Lord, you fulfilled the hope of Simeon and Anna, who lived to welcome the Messiah. May we, who have received these gifts beyond words, prepare to meet Christ Jesus when he comes to bring us to eternal life, for he is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. 
say together the prayer after communion, whether we received the bread and wine or whether we received that communion in the spiritual way. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so before I conclude this morning's service, I thank you for gathering with us and uh, for forgiving any technical glitches, which no doubt I would have set up in advance. Uh, it's been uh, good to be here and to celebrate communion in college. I hope you've been glad to connect with us. And uh, to say that we are gathering this evening online for our uh, service of evening prayer, and that will be at 6.30. There'll be um, a scheduled live link available, um, or you can find it in the YouTube channel for the chapel. And there's also going to be um, a Zoom call, an opportunity to say hello immediately after the service, so um, I hope that you have details for that. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.